Welcome back to Toriko Anime View. This is part 9. This is my third time doing this because the first time my mic wasn't plugged in. Second time I forgot that I had to do something really quickly because my dad has a client coming over. Now I try again. Hopefully we get nothing wrong this time. Alright. Now, this one I was supposed to review just the two OVAs the series had. Which is the first one aired in 2009 and the other one aired in the following year. Here's the thing. I found the first one, no problem. I watched it. I actually was really, I'll get my thoughts in a minute. The second one, can't find at all. This is by far the second time this has happened when I try to look for something and I just can't find it. The other time this has happened, this was One Piece. Yeah, when it came to, I think it was, uh, I think it was one of the shorts. Yeah, it was one of the shorts. I couldn't even find it. It was in 3D. I just couldn't find it at all. And. Yeah, I just couldn't find it, so I decided to just give up with it. Because I just kept looking and looking and looking, and I just couldn't find it at all. It's like, no website has it. So this is only the second time this has happened. So, okay. Let's talk about the first Toriko. Uh, let's talk about the 2009 Jump Special, which aired like a year before this, the anime aired. This short is really good. It's much more closer to, a little more closer to the manga counterpart, though they do make some changes. Though, unlike in the anime, where you see Toriko wearing his orange vest, blue undershirt, and orange pants, and boots, here you see him wear white t-shirt, blue pants, and sandals-ish. He wears, like, boots. But yeah, he basically wears his manga attire. I, I guess the reason why is because, well, the reason why I think in the anime the reason why he wore the orange and blue is because that was his familiar look. Here... Because that's what he wore in the manga. So why not? Also, Komatsu is introduced when we first see him. You actually see him like a few minutes into this. Yeah, and Toriko is the first thing you see. And he's got completely different voice acting. He sounds, and he looks a little bit different too. Yeah, the animation style is different than the actual anime. Probably because it's done by a different studio. Mm -hmm. And but, but it opens up for when Toriko is first seen. Yeah, he does pretty much the same thing he does in the manga and the anime. Goes fishing. Yep. Of course, Komatsu gives his business card this one. And they changed the, for some reason, the subversion I watched, they call it, instead of calling it Gorilla Gator, it's Gorilla Crocodile. I don't know why they changed that for, but they did. Also, when that Gorilla cro Crocodile is seen, it's green. Don't know why, even though it's supposed to be red. Yep. When Toriko bows this thing, he chops his tail off and pretty much destroys his midsection. With his uh, Kagi punt, with his his his, uh, his special punch that he does in the anime, it's they call it like the three punch thing. Here they call it Sun and the Sun King punch, which is like three nails. Yep. Mhm. Mm yep. What else? Uh, oh yeah, when Kamatsu gets a, a, when he gets snacked by a leech, it's in the back of his neck. It's on the back of his left hand. Don't know why. Just that it is. The Toriko pretty much gets up the same way he does with. With uh, these special leaves, which are engraved with salt water. Let's see. Is there anything else? Um. Oh yeah. Um. Tom's boat is more run down. Looks more. It looks more run down than it does in the manga and anime. Manga anime is a lot more shinier. This one looks like it's a looks like you use a paint job. Yeah, and he managed to go through like the rocks, and then, then, and, and then they go through the island, with it, and they get to the thing, no problem. And they catch any creatures, so they, they do that in the. In the anime here, they just got on the raft, paddled for like a minute, and bam, they're on shore. In the, in the anime, this actually took a little bit longer, like about a few minutes longer. Mm -hmm. And let's see, what else? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Yep, for the most part, this particular thing sticks pretty close to how it was presented in the actual manga and the anime. Though in the anime he chopped the uh, Torgo chopped up the Gorilla Gator's head, here he chopped up his tail. And then the ending is simply just a montage of stuff that came here like Rainbow Fruit, Puffer Whale, and Regal Mammoth. And of course showing off uh various characters pop up after this particular arc. You have Coco, then it's Reed, then Sunny, and of course they show off Terry Cloth in a quick little montage, though so they look slightly different than they do did in the anime. Yeah, but it's it's a good OVA nonetheless. I kind of wish I could find the second one, but there's no video for it online, so can't find it. 
So, yeah, that's it for this episode. Next video for the series be my top 10. Well, first, the probably top 10 female characters and top 10 male characters. Ladies first, okay? But uh, until I see you in my next video, bye.